Hey everybody, w what's going on? Well, it's a weird time, uh, and we're all stuck in our homes. So, we actually are going to do some Dungeons and Dragons. Ryan is here, Steven is here, Katie LeBlanc is here. Katie is our head of development. How are you guys feeling? Have you have you played Dungeons and Dragons before? Long time listener, first time caller. I've never, never done this before. Uh, know a bit about it from friends, but that's it. Yeah, I've played it once with you before. Uh, it was short-lived because it was too Very big briefly. of a group and uh, yeah. people were flaking out. Maybe even myself was one of those people that was flaking, but you know Maybe what? Maybe me too. I'm here now and I'm here and I'm committed and I'm committed to social distancing and Dungeons and Dragons. And that's what this is. Before we get into the game, we are lucky enough to have a sponsor for this episode. Obviously, we're making content from home, uh, so that's wonderful. Ryan, tell us more about them. Big thank you to Raid Shadow Legends, which is an RPG video game that you could play mobily or on your desktop. So basically, you're traveling with a clan of people. They're called champions. You start with your champion. You could upgrade his equipment, his armor, his abilities. So right now, I'm traveling as a trio. Uh, we just defeated one of the, uh, I think the castle guard, a boss. If you're a fan of Dungeons and Dragons and you can't really get anybody together, you can join a virtual clan over the web safely without infecting each other. And now the highly anticipated battle pass is on. Season one is live and you can win awesome rewards, including free energy refills, gems, upgraded artifacts, sets, and new epic and legendary champions by fulfilling the daily and weekly challenges. So if this is all sounding good to you, you could download this video game right now by clicking on the link on the description. You'll start off with 50,000 silver and a free champion to start your journey and uh, join your friends in slaying monsters and such. Thanks again to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video and let's get back to the game. All right, travelers, you find yourself in a packed house. It's a tavern. Uh, candlelight illuminates the room. There's a din of uh, 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 drunkards all howling, having fun. You stand by the wall waiting for a table when a, a friendly bearded man approaches you three and says, uh, can I get you all a table? Are you, uh, are you together? No. Oh. No. Oh, you're not. Uh, well, we're... We're a little packed up right now. Is it? Uh, would you mind sharing a table? Yeah, I, th yeah, I think I could do that. Fine. Uh, okay. Yeah, of course. Let's do it. E excellent. I'll, I'll seat you over here, and uh, you could get cozy. The man leads you over to a, a table. Uh, again, this place is just—it's popping. It's packed to the gills. Uh, it's a little place called the Yawning Portal, a wonderful tavern here in the city of Waterdeep. Uh, you all settle in next to each other, and as you're going to be sharing a, a drink or a meal together, maybe now's a good time to introduce yourselves. My name's, uh, I'm Steve. <laughs> My name's Steve, and, uh, yeah, I come from a little bit out of town, I kind of wander, but, uh, just looking for some uh, nice folk to hang out, have a little brew with. You're going to name your character Steve, is, is that the... Yes, I'm going to name my character Steve. <laughs> okay. It's important to my backstory. <laughs> okay. So, okay. I, I'd appreciate it if you laid off me a bit. Okay. It's Steve. Sorry to interrupt. That's where it's gonna, it's gonna stay as Steve. Okay. It's a great name. Uh, no bias. I don't know, know any Steves in my life, but I, I, great name. Good choice, Ryan. Okay. I mean, uh, Steve, sorry. <laughs> oh God, oh, this, this is, is gonna, gonna be, be a nightmare. Okay. My name is yeah. Keza. I'm a half-orc. I'm trying to find my way. I recently had to leave um, uh, the, the town where I had lived my whole life because I, um, I defied my adoptive father and uh, defended a town that he wanted to burn down. And he burnt it down, but I defended people and uh, I have no home now. So this is where- Was I... your father a king? He was a military general. It's where I learned everything. Keza, that's, that's quite remarkable to share with us on the very first time meeting us, but... <laughs> Look, I'm new to this, all right? <laughs> it's quite forward of you to speak of oh, kill of your father like that. Well, he's a, <laughs> he's a dick, and he deserves, is horrible. he deserves to be called a dick. <laughs> Let me speak to the table for a moment. Uh, 
My name is Stephanos. Stephanos Coffee Bean. I am a lad from the far, far away, and that's where this accent comes from. Uh, this accent is actually quite difficult to keep up, so sometimes I cut back to my other accent. So I, forgive me if I am constantly back and forth between my accents. I'm a, I am a halfling after all, so I'm half human. You like I like the accent. The accent. Well, I think it's and yeah. Not, I think it's kind of kind of sexy, actually. Not to you know, you know. Yes, no, I don't uh, want to make you feel weird or anything, but it's just uh, it's it's nice. It's like butter to I, my ears. I appreciate the kindness, uh, Steve. But uh, anyway, I am I am. Uh, <laughs> since we're talking about ourselves, I, I, let me share a little bit about myself. I'm the seventh of thirteen children, and um, um, my family's all passed away. But I, I don't want to speak of it now. <laughs> it's okay. I just <laughs> just want to share. Um, oh wow, feels good to get that off my chest. I've not told anybody that information. <laughs> but something about this tavern really makes me feel like I know you all. Like you're my friends. Like I love you all. All right, too and, much. Uh, yeah. All right, too much. Well, thank you for listening to me. I'm, I'm going to take a back step. <laughs> a step back. The bearded man comes back to your table. Hey folks, I'm sorry about that. Here's your menus. Uh, uh, take take a take a minute. Do you need a couple minutes? I can come back. Uh, I just got a need lot of tables. I just need an ale. Just an ale. That's fine. Just an ale. I hope you got some dragons on you. Dragons? Got some dragons on us? What are you talking dragons? about? I, I, yes, have, are you not Are you not dragons? familiar with the local the local currency? The coins in this town are called dragons, my friends. Dragons. <laughs> 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 yeah, of course Wait, I knew that. Yes. Okay, I was gonna say, you show up in Waterdeep, you don't have any money. Uh, uh, this city, uh, it's an expensive town. Uh, rent's going up, you know how it goes. Well, I just go where the performances take me, so, you know, I, I really don't ever really know where I'm at, so I sometimes forget about the currency. Apologies, good sir. Oh, no, no worries. So, so that's one ale. Anything for the, the little folks here? Um, uh, do you possibly have, um, some, uh, some, some, uh, magic juice? Some ma magic ma some juice. Ma magic juice. Magic juice. Uh, you know, uh, it's <laughs> juicy magic. Some juice. Some juice. I mean, look at the menu. We have uh, water and uh, ale and wine. Maybe some mead if you'd like that. Uh, it can be magic if you have a lot of it. You know. <laughs> okay. Maybe you'll end up. Maybe you'll end up somewhere you were. You, you didn't plan on ended up. <laughs> Stefano, where did you say you were from? I'm from. Uh, a town far, far away. So I'm not, cur I'm not familiar with the currency, uh, the the, dr the dragon. You say. I, I think I brought um, some other currency with me. That's it's for my hometown. So it, can you spot me, actually? Uh, yeah, just yeah. just get him a wine. I'll pay for it. Yeah, okay, okay, a little wine, and then and then for the for the little the little fellow over there. Yeah, I thought you'd never get to me. Yeah, let's see. Uh, give me uh, give me uh, another. I'll, I'll go another Stein of Ghoul Grog. And give me an extra shot of a uh, goblin split too. Okay, well I don't know if that's on the menu. I'll check. I'll see if. <laughs> what maybe kind of tavern is this? Back. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, it's it's the Yawning Portal, the hottest tavern in Waterdeep. Well, how's I'll it going to be the hottest tavern if you have no goblin split? Uh, he leaves you to your to your own devices again. Feel free to converse some more. We'll see what happens. You know what, uh, yeah, I'm kind of getting tired of doing that other accent because uh, it's just a character I'm doing, <laughs> you know? Uh, here's the thing, fellas. I was gonna kind of slowly reveal myself to you as the night goes on. I'm an actor, and uh, yeah, that's what I do for a trade. I also sing, I got a little guitar back there. I felt a little disingenuous to uh, kind of put on this little accent for you. It kind of makes, it fits my, my size a little bit more, but uh, I got tired of doing it, to be honest. <laughs> uh, so the, the, I, I'm gonna be myself now. You can trust me now. Don't worry about it. Uh, but I am telling the truth in that I travel town to town to town. Well, you how do you I, can get it, right? How do I, I was know just jerking your chain a little bit. How do I know this isn't another one of your acting? Uh, I just wanted to see how far I could take that other character, you know? That's just a part of the trade. Uh, I could play a little a little song for you along the, if, you, if it would ease your mind. Of course, I'd have to charge you. But, uh, you know. I'm sorry, what, what was your, uh, your real name uh, you were saying? Oh, my real name is Steve, but sometimes I kind of like to jump from persona to oh, persona. Okay. It's just a thing that I do. You know, I live for the performance. I'd love to hear a song, Steve. Well, you know what? We're gonna have to go a little bit further. 
on the journey. I don't really know you. I don't really <laughs> hand out songs willy nilly. You, you know? just offered. You uh, just that's, offered that's a part song. Part of my skill. If I paid for it, you offered it. Yeah, but I also said how you'd have to earn my trust a little bit. Big, uh, big, 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 big gal. I don't even know what to call you. What was your name, Tessa? Tessa. I, her name is Keza. I'm and, going to uh, grab your skull. All right. And throw it you like across the room. <laughs> want to do anything? So why don't I sing a song for all of you with my? No, I'd rather not hear that ever. Terrible. Actually. Uh, Steve, the worst you be thing quiet. About, uh, you let the Stefano the more, sing. The only okay, worst thing. I won't sing a voice. I won't sing a song. I'm sorry. Thank God. Suddenly, all of the noise in the tavern is eclipsed by a shout. Ya pig, like killing me mates, does ya? Then a seven-foot-tall half-orc is hit by a wild swinging punch from a male human whose shaved head is covered with eye-shaped tattoos. Four other humans stand behind him, ready to jump into the fray. The half-orc cracks her knuckles, roars, and leaps at the tattooed figure. But before you can see if blood is drawn, a crowd of spectators clusters around the brawl. What do you do? Well, it's a half-orc uh... half woman um, in a fight, and that um, piques my sense of kinship. So I, I need to go check it out. I need to go see what's going on. That sounds... Quite right. Yes, you should go. It sounds like a good plan to me. I'll stay. You guys stay I'll here. Stay back stay here out, and watch the table. Try not to be seen. You guys stay but out of here. We're in this together now. Fate has brought us together. We will leave this tavern together. That's that's a lot of faith right now. So why, why don't you guys just stay out of sight? And I'm gonna go check this out. Keza, you walk over to the uh, the brawl occurring, and through the crowds of people, you can see that this is clearly five humans ganging up on this one uh, half orc who. You know, all due respect to the half orc is really uh, pulling her own. She has the what looks to be the leader of the humans pinned down and is raining blows upon him. But it looks like the other four humans are pretty much ready to pounce on her. So, do you choose to engage? What, what's going on here? Uh, she she seems out, unfairly outnumbered. Uh, I want to engage and, and pull her out of the fight. Okay, well, one of the humans spies you from the corner, sees that you're about to uh, jump in on this. Uh, he, he recognizes that you are sitting at this table with these two, these two little fellas. I told them to he stay says, out of sight. Well, he, he spots them. He, he's, he's seen the crew you're rolling deep with. He said, oh, you and your friends want some too, huh? So, uh, Here's the thing, I felt like I needed a tap dance on this table. It looked like it would be good for my shoes. So that no, clearly Steve, gave it away. I, I don't blame you for being you. You do you, Steve. God damn it, Steve. You do you. God damn wonderful. it, Steve. What a friendship is growing You're here. really starting oh. to piss me off. Everybody roll for initiative. Okay, I rolled a 12 plus roll one, in. I have 13 initiative. I rolled a 17, so I have plus two and I'm 19. I have a 10. I, I have an eight plus a two, so a 10. Okay. One of the humans uh, takes a uh, takes his scimitar and uh, makes a slashing attack at Keza as oh, she no. was the first to enter the fray. Uh, mm -mm. That is a it's a miss. Yep, better he, be. He trips over his own shoelaces and stumbles past you. Uh, next up is Stephanos. You know what? I take my crossbow and I here from around the corner. I pointed straight at the man who just stumbled past the half orc. Uh huh. My one eye winked, and the other eye opened. Went past Steve, and I, I pull back and I release. Yeah. I release Hell the, yeah. I Stephanos. release the bow. Hell yeah. Okay. Get uh, it. Roll your your d20 there. I know roll you had it in you. d20, and I have roll an uh oh. I roll an eight. I receive a twelve. Correct, that's a hit. Uh, your crossbow hits him square in the shoulder. Hell yeah. Uh, he, Get it, Stephanos. Steve, uh, look at that. Look, Steve, roll, you see me? Roll, Steve. Roll, roll for damage. And I roll a four plus two and I, I hit six. You hit uh, six. Um, the the bolt from the crossbow, crossbow actually hits him clear in the throat. Yeah. Uh, oh, shit. Yeah. A curdling of, of blood yeah. uh, spatters from his his uh, his new wound, and he drops to the floor. Um, so he is uh, he's out. He's yeah. Down the count. He's kaput. Uh, next up, one of the other angry, angry humans sees this, and uh, well, he makes a, a swing with his scimitar directly for Stephanos. Um, 
as a as a vengeance. He's you know he's scream. He's he's not thrilled that you killed his friend, and that is unfortunately his scimitar does hit you, uh, and it's going to cause five damage. It it hits you square in the shin. You're not pleased. My man, I'm sorry. No worries, mate. I didn't mean to get uh, you hurt and all this. And I was is, just trying to defend my friend. He is laughing. He's laughing at the damage he caused. He's, oh, he's pleased with himself. Oh, screw this uh, guy. Next up, his friend who's standing next to him. He's he's seeing his friend uh, with a little victory here, and he's he's gonna go after the big, the big gal. So he swings his scimitar. He misses. Uh, so he he took a swing for Keza, and he did not land it. Uh, Keza, you're up next. Excellent. Uh, hey, the when guy, the hell do I get to go here? The, the, this is how initiative works. You don't get to go Steve, yet. Steve, you rolled a very low number. Just take a chill pill and just uh, watch Steve, me th- Steve, you're, you're, Steve, your tap dancing hey, is what got Stefano's You know what? Stephano's you don't want to shin. focus on that wound because you're bleeding. Why don't you come and help me, sir? <laughs> I doubt it. Steve, just hang back. Okay, I take my great sword and go right after that guy who just swung for me. I, I go uh-huh. right for his head. Rolling. 20. I okay, got 20. Um, you cut him in half. Ta-da! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Everyone in the bar, uh, before this was sort of cheering and uh, you know really uh, into this uh, fun brawl that was going on. Now people are passing out. Um, they're pale. They're disgusted. Some people have flecks of blood on their face. Oh, no. A truly horrifying uh, uh, situation is occurring oh, right now. No. I'm sorry. Um, uh, Jesus. It's quite a disaster. I didn't mean to uh, Nice shot. <laughs> Seeing this, the other two remaining humans um, make a run for it. Uh, but there is still uh, one human trapped under... Um, this, this half-orc woman, as she is uh, beating the pulp out of him, you can choose to pull her off or help her. Uh, you you know, pull clearly it. he is, this half, this human is outnumbered, so yep. now it's your choice if you want to be lenient with him or or just straight up finish him off. No, uh, p- p- pull her off, pull her off. Okay, to pull her off, you have to do a strength check because this is a pretty strong lady. Nine. Okay, uh, you are successful in, in pulling off this orc. She's, she's very uh, uh, fired up. Uh, she's like, what, what are you doing? Uh, and the, the man with the eyeballs over, all over his head, uh, he manages to, while you're you know, trying to contain this, this uh, fired up half orc, uh, he manages to, to run out of the tavern. Um, so you have successfully uh, broken up this crazy brawl. Oh no, I thought uh, we were going to catch the man and learn more information about this gang of bandits, but at least we're all safe. I'm just pleased to have uh, settled things down and I'm hoping that cutting a man in half won't uh, be taken too negatively, uh, <laughs> considering that he attacked me first uh, and they were clearly bandits. But now, uh, can I ask her what was going on? Yes, absolutely. Okay, um, I, I want to talk to her. I want to learn. Yeah, she's um, she's uh, not uh, thrilled that you intervened because she, uh, uh, I'll, I'll, you can introduce yourself to her now. Okay. Uh, what were you doing? You just caused a huge. What was going on? What was I doing? What were you doing? I was trying to clean up the scum of the city. That's what I was doing. Yeah, but folk like us already have a bad reputation. You can't go starting stuff like this in taverns. You, you have to con- you have to control yourself. Start starting stuff in taverns. Did you see that guy? He had eyeballs all over his head. Does that seem like a guy you want to know? No, but why were you why were you knowing him? What what did you have anything to do with him? To be uh, fair, I kind of want to know him. Pretty cool tattoos. Steve. Uh, you, oh. Oh, is that all it takes for you? Just some cool tattoos? Well, I'll tell you what. That guy, he's Xanathar scum. Yeah, that's a, that's a name that doesn't ring any bells, but uh, cool tattoos, yeah, I agree. Are, are you new around here? I, I don't quite, uh, do you not understand how things work in this city? Not really, I kind of travel where the gigs go, you know? 
Uh, but I will say I do like dinner and a show. Well, I guess you've gotten your show. Uh, that's for sure. Indeed. No dinner, though. Uh, she's looking pretty bored. Uh, she's, you know, <laughs> she, she lives for the fight, clearly, and uh, you, you took away uh, her entertainment for the day. Um, any, any last words that you'd like to exchange with her? Uh, is there any more information to be gained about wh who that guy was, why he was worth beating up, or is she just, just looking for fights? Roll a, a charisma check. Charisma plus two, six. Yeah, she doesn't seem like she's all that interested in uh, filling you in on this. Uh, she says, uh, look, if you don't know your way around this city, that's not my problem. Uh, why don't you spend a little time here, get to know how this place works. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go treat myself to a drink at the bar, thanks. She walks off. Well, this lady can screw. Uh, I remember that Stephanos is bleeding from the shins and, and we need to address that. Yes, uh, you know, I think I'm okay. I, I'll be okay, but uh, could use a, a mighty, mighty fine number of band-aids for my, <laughs> my legs. It looks like he's got a boo-boo. <laughs> a little bit of blood uh, that's dripped onto your forehead there, Steve. What? Oh yeah, I guess so. Gross. Uh, where's that barkeep? Fetch me a towel. Uh, oh, hey. alcohol. What's going on? What are you guys doing over here? This is wild. What the hell happened? <laughs> yeah, just oh, well. another day in the yawning portal, I guess. That's how things go around here. Yeah, you got a lot of people getting cut in half in your <laughs> establishment. Uh, here and there. Do we have a mop over here? We get that mopped. Thank you. You're yeah, just gonna sorry. mop away uh, the half the corpse? Also, kind, kind sir, would you also happen to have any uh, wraps or band-aids or anything that could help me to Function. What the hell is a band-aid? You've got something back there. I'm not sure what a band-aid is. Is that like a, a drummer or a... I, <laughs> I got some that. drums if you want those. No, there's a band-aid, I tell you. Yeah, we'll get some wraps for you. We'll send them over to the table. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry about the interruption, folks. We'll have your drinks out in just a minute. He leaves you to the table again. I would love to do a perception check at this point. Oh no, oh no, I've rolled a two. Uh, I'll tell you the, you know, you roll a two perception, you can just take a glance around. You're not going to gain too much insight about this uh, room, but what you can tell of this uh, tavern, it's a wide open space. There's many floors to it. Um, and in the center of all of this is a 40 foot uh, uh, hole, basically, uh, that appears to go down into the ground. There's a pulley that people are being um, lowered into it on, but otherwise most people don't seem to be paying too much mind to this uh, giant hole and are just uh, drinking their, their drinks. Yeah, I think I'd like to do a perception check too. <laughs> sure. I wanna see what's in that, I wanna see what's Steve, in that you hole. you trust my perception, what was that all <laughs> No. About? Actually, uh, if one of you is skilled in uh, history, you might be able to. All right, let's do the history. Looks like I got uh, 13 plus one is 14. That's okay, what uh, I'm talking about. <laughs> Stephanos, uh, sorry, Steve. Oh, God, all right. Uh, Unbelievable. It's Steve, not even that um, hard to remember, it's Steve. Uh, Steve, you're, you're searching uh, your, your memory now, and you seem to recall reading about this tavern back in the day. Um, you recall that the Yawning Portal sits uh, above a, a, an entrance to uh, Under Mountain, which is this uh, sort of a dungeon beneath the city of Waterdeep. And, so um, a portal. In, in a sense, yes, it is a portal of sorts. Uh, you recall that, uh, yes, this is sort of a, a, a place where adventurers uh, tend to uh, descend into the, the pits of, uh, of a pretty scary place, quite frankly. Uh, and that's what you, you remember. Well, I am eager to find out more about that and find out if the man I killed actually deserved it. Well, apparently there's some kind of uh, organization here in this city that's maybe up to no good, so uh, yeah, we can just go down this hole and see what's going on. I know, I maybe we say, uh... Let me just reveal why I, I am here, actually. <laughs> uh, I never told you this, but I was in my town and the church actually sent me on a mission and saying you will enter some sort of uh, a dark world, and you'll be needed in this space to help 
your friends. And I, I think that it's my calling to be with you and to go into this dark space together. Just wanted to let you know that. What is it, like a fortune cookie or something? Uh, the, the, the great lord of, the, of this, uh, this earth had actually told me this. Oh, I see. Yeah. Are, are you, I are you certain? I feel like this may be something I should do and you guys should stay up here where it's safer. I, I doesn't feel like this is Listen, uh... Kessa. I don't, I don't know what you're saying, but uh, I think you're gonna need a little bit of help. Uh, I've been equipped with some magic, some spells, some curing, some... I can pray, I can do many things, and at the very least, you saved my life. Let me help you. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll say this about the hole. As you can see it, it is not so much a hole as a, you know, it's 40 feet wide and you really can't see the bottom of it. So it's, it's not quite something that one of you would go down in on your own. It, it would be a big, a big uh, journey. I'll say that. Right, right. I just, I don't see the benefit in, in them joining me, but, but Stefanos has made a good point. I see his value. I would like to have you along. Steve, what, what do you stand to gain down there? Eh, I don't really know. I'm kind of curious and bored, to be honest. I just checked my Google Cal. Looks like I got nothing coming up the next week. So, yeah, I'll go in the hole if you have me. Have a little fun. I'm down for a I little think adventure. Worth having. Steve is, uh, he's quite a comedic relief for the group, <laughs> and he's made me laugh a few times. I will say, it's a very funny man. Uh, I think he's very, I very funny. I wish I could say the same for you. I will say that uh, I know some spells and whatnot. So yeah, maybe you could use me down that hole. I don't know. What 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 do you know how to spell? Do you know how to spell your name? <laughs> it's very good. That's a good joke. Very, very funny. I'm uh, I'm doubled over with laughter right now. Ha ha ha. Uh yeah, I meant <laughs> magic dummy. Uh yeah, I know some I know some spells that might be helpful. And uh, you know, also I, I could play the uh, I have several instruments that I could play too. If you guys want to hear a little tune or if you need a, uh, need a little mood music, if you're, you know, chopping people in half and stuff, you might want a little uh, soundtrack to kick some ass to, you know? Yeah, all right. Love it. Love it very much. Love it with all my heart and all my soul. Love it, Steve. Let's do this. Let's do this, team. We got this. You're my new family now. All right. All give us three days. One of my life, so thank you for being my family. All right. In, in my enthusiasm to, to figure this out, I pick them both up and start to carry them towards the hole. I've always Whoa. wanted a piggyback ride from a giant. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you, you approach the hole and there, um, as I said earlier, there appears to be some sort of pulley system where people are going down. Dernan, who is the uh, proprietor of this place, the bearded man who's been, who seated you and is serving you, he, he walks over to you and uh, sort of stops you in your tracks and um, he says, uh, oh there folks, where, where, do you think you're, <laughs> where do you think you're going? Yeah, I'm going into this hole. Did you not see the encounter I just had? I, I need to track down those bandits and, and find out their origin, and, and I, I need to know more. Yes, I, I did see you fight those humans, yes. And you think you're ready to go down in the hole. Yes. And you're gonna take these two little fellas with you. Yes, I'm gonna take the little fellas with me. Uh, excuse oh, me, let me just chime in real, for just a moment. Little fella, is, I, I don't like the way that you're referring to myself. I'm not a little fella, I'm just a halfling. Well, now, how tall are you exactly, little boy? Quite tall for my species, actually. I'm a three foot six halfling. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say, I could fit you in my pocket. Can I, uh, can I intimidate this man? He's starting to piss me off talking mean about my friends. Yes, uh, roll for intimidation. I got a 16. So he is clearly intimidated. Uh, he, he says, oh, oh okay, 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 look, look, you don't have to get all angry with me, I'm a perfectly, you have to understand, I, I run a business here. I've got, I've got people, and sure, someone got cut in half just now, and I don't feel great about that. It's not good for the PR, but I'm yeah, gonna put having this Having a big ass hole in your restaurant is? Now, 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 that's just a feature, but I'm gonna put this big ass padlock on this, this pulley wheel to make sure that you folks can't get down there. And that's something that I do because I care. And that's the thing here at the Yawning Portal. We care. Suddenly, Dernan is interrupted. Shouts of alarm suddenly ring out as a hulking creature climbs out of the shaft in the middle of the tap room. A monster with warty green skin, a tangled nest of wiry black hair, a long carrot-shaped nose and bloodshot eyes. As it bears its yellow teeth and howls, you can see that the half dozen bat-like creatures are attached to its body with three more circling above it like flies. 
Everyone in the tavern reacts in fear except for the barkeep, Dernan, who shouts, Troll! And that'll be our cliffhanger for this week. Oh, Wait, man. so we are not rolling for initiative. We're not rolling for initiative. I don't know if we need to oh. include that or not. Oh. That's pretty good. I want to see what that monster is. Yeah, I'm all about seeing what that monster is now, man. Also, also, this old guy sucks. Dernan? Dernan sucks. The no. sweet guy, look, he's just, you know, Dernan's he's running a business, great. man. He's a big ass hole in his restaurant that's Why would he trolls build a in tavern in, over, over a, a hole where trolls come out of? I mean, why is the sky blue? You know, what do what, you. What, what, Those aren't what the kind of same. Questions are these? Those aren't the same thing. Didn't the hole, I mean, the hole was spot. always there? Or the hole appeared? I don't have to answer for these things. Also, we're not in the game anymore. Uh, the session has concluded. I guess you'll have to uh, find out more next time. That's a good teaser, Shane. Well done. Well, thanks for joining us for our very first session of social distancing and dungeons and dragons. We're all working through this, so if we've done anything horribly incorrectly this week, please let me know as the DM. Tune in next week to find out what happens with that big old troll, and uh, we'll see you then. Bye. Bye.